There's a delusion which almost everyone has to some degree, and it causes enormous problems for the individual and for society collectively. When you think about your life and your possessions, would you say that you're wealthy, middle class, lower class? Very few people consider themselves to be fabulously wealthy. And yet, if you look at it objectively, compared to almost all of your ancestors and almost everyone else in the world, you're fabulously wealthy. The clothes you're wearing, the uniformity of the threads and the thread count would have made those garments the best clothes on earth a few generations ago. The home that you're living in, I mean, indoor lighting, indoor plumbing, indoor cooling and heating, impossible to even imagine for most of our ancestors and very few other people in the world have, have the quality of uh, amenities inside their home that we have. I mean just simple things like a mirror or a glass window only fabulously wealthy people could afford that back in the Middle Ages. Most of our ancestors could never dream of luxuries like this. And then when you consider something like a car or a computer that would have been the most valuable possession on earth uh, just a few generations ago before they were mass produced. Um, when you think about how our ancestors really lived, uh, the wealthiest people back in the Middle Ages might own a dozen books, might have read a couple dozen books in their life. Today you have access to I infinite information practically over the internet you have the ability to travel around the world see so many different cultures that's something that no one could have had access to just a few generations ago without enormous uh, expenditure and basically giving up years of their life and and taking enormous risks back in the middle ages the price of a serf's life the price of most of our ancestors lives was one ounce of silver a serf would work his entire life to save one ounce of silver and then he could use that to buy freedom for his son. That was all that the average person could save after a lifetime of work. Today, no matter what you earn, you can probably save an ounce of silver you know, from a couple hours of work. Uh, the way that we live is just fabulously wealthy compared to any, any of our ancestors by any gauge and compared to the vast majority of the rest of the people in the world. And yet, most people think that they don't have enough money. They rarely consider themselves fabulously wealthy, when in fact they are. And this causes a number of extreme problems. I mean, first of all, it's, it's a delusion that verges on insanity. The only reason we don't recognize it as an insane delusion is that everybody around us is suffering from it, and, and so it's seen as normal. Well, the first problem that this insane delusion causes is that almost everyone has a m at least mild level of dissatisfaction with the amount of money they have. Very few people wake up in the morning and say, oh, I am so grateful to be fabulously wealthy. And guess what? If you don't wake up and say that now, I don't care if you have a hundred million dollars, you'll never believe that you're fabulously wealthy. Because you already are, and if you don't believe it now, you'll never believe it no matter how much money you have. You'll always compare yourself to the people that are living around you and you'll always live around people with the same amount of wealth. You'll tend to gravitate towards them probably. And you'll always say that I only average, I don't have enough money. And you'll always have a moderate level of dissatisfaction and there are a lot of people that we consider fabulously wealthy that have this same delusion and this same moderate level of dissatisfaction. More than just a moderate level of dissatisfaction in your life, though, it causes people to lose their entire lives, to be enslaved to this delusion. People go to work for 50 hours a week so that they can afford you know, some moderate level of additional luxuries because they think that they don't have enough. And collectively, our society is depleting the Earth's resources and doing incredible damage because collectively everybody suffers from this insane delusion. It's not a harmless thing. The other enormous problem that this delusion causes is that it actually makes people far less efficient at really earning money. When you think about it on a large scale, you may notice that pretty much everything in life that you're grateful for you tend to get more of and everything in life that you're not grateful for you tend to lose what you already have. And the same is true for money. If you're not grateful for the amount of wealth that you already have, it becomes very difficult to earn more and you tend to lose what you already have. Because 
once you have a sense of lack related to money, then it's very easy for fear and greed to creep into your life. And I think you see this most clearly when you're trading. Um, you know, if the average person, if they lose or gain $50,000 in one day, they'll immediately be subject to fear and greed. Uh, if they gain $50,000, they'll think, oh, if I had just leveraged twice as much, I would have gained more. So they'll start leveraging more and they'll blow their account. Or if they lose $50,000, they'll immediately become extremely fearful and they'll get out of the position even if it's not a logical thing to do. But what people don't notice is that the same thing is at play in their regular life. People are being manipulated by others based on their fear and greed surrounding money. When people are doing work that they don't enjoy, it's almost always because they're being ruled by fear and greed or someone else is playing on their fear and greed. They're staying in a job that they aren't particularly happy with because they're fearful that they won't have a better situation or they're doing work that they don't enjoy and that isn't really optimal for them because they're greedy and they want the money anyway rather than simply seeking out whatever type of work is the most efficient way to earn money the amount of money that they actually need and, and the type of work that they actually enjoy. Very few people are in an optimal employment because most people are controlled by this fear and greed related to the amount of wealth they have. And it's not easy to stay conscious of this delusion and really detach yourself because everyone around us is suffering from it and it's really ingrained in our personality for a number of reasons, one of which I cover in my second child raising video. But if you can become conscious of it and, and escape it, then immediately you're extremely wealthy because you recognize the reality of your situation. And if you can't escape it, then no matter what, no matter how much money you gain, you'll always have the mentality of a pauper. You'll always consider yourself lacking in, in wealth 